Hello, I'm back and I'm here today with the Real Ale Guide and we're going to do a Quantock Ale, is that right? Yep, yeah. a Quantock Ale and this is my first review and to be honest I'm not really going to do very many so I hope you enjoy. I'd just like to say the fantastic quality of this camera is actually Mel's camera we're using today. She's going to upload it via, she got editing software and everything else so Seems a hell of a lot wider, there's a lot more in the video. Um, okay, yeah, so. More panoramic, you would say. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, what's the percentage of beer? Okay, this is Pontoc Ale and it's 3.8, a full bodied, well rounded amber beer. Okay. From the Pontoc Brewery. Yeah, it's a bottle conditioned beer, it's a real ale. Um, we have had this in the new inn. You might, well, we didn't have a video of it um, on YouTube, but we did try this on cask at the new inn. It was absolutely fantastic. So one of which I thoroughly enjoyed. There you go. <laughs> so there's plenty of sediment in the bottom of this. Now, Simon, do you prefer to drink your sediment? I do. Or prefer to get rid? I. Absolutely love drinking the sediments on this beer. So, if you go up to the camera and pour our glasses here, I don't know if you can see. Brewery. Yeah, it'll be better when uh, the beer's in the glass. You've got to get a better reflection of the glass. So, so if you pull the first half out, I shall have the lady glass. Oh Thank yeah, you, you have the lady glass. If you pull the first half out into the the glass, get, tilt the glass a little bit more. Get it, and um, you'll be able to see the. Beer with no sediment in. And then I'm on my review. So would you say this is a, a review of two halves? A review of two halves. So there's a the beer there with no sediment in. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a rigorous pour. I'm going to get this beer in. The beer is has no head whatsoever. Um, this is the first time I've had it out of the bottle, so I'm not sure how this beer should be. This seems to see, be... mine, I have to be honest, my one, looking clear, see a few bubbles through, that looks beautiful to me. And mine one there, there's hardly any sediment at all, to be honest, being a real ale. There's tiny bits in the bottom. So, I think we're going to give this beer a bit of a wash round now. See if we can create some kind of head. Oh, and what what colour would you say? Colour this beer it's very is rich. It's beautiful. Nice looking beer is golden. Almost looks like cider, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like um oh, it's very interesting. If you put the glass up to the camera again, I don't know if you notice in Mal's glass she's actually got quite a bit of carbonation going in her beer. It's not quite picking it up. But I got I haven't got hardly any. So, um, be a tail of two halves. So, what kind of aromas are you getting? So, I, I, I just get some... The hop. Yeah. Definitely fruity, fruity hop in there. It's like... So, what hop's being used in this? So I, well, you'll have to read the... I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to have a read <laughs> It's a bit, a bit late for that, really, isn't it? I think we'll have a... Um, I'm not sure if they actually mention what. Um... We should know. Okay. Is it's brewed with a blend of three malts to give a full body flavour. The blend of English hops creates a balanced fruity character with delicate spice aroma. It, if you smell it again while you while actually ready, you do probably get a tiny bit of the spice. Just a small hint. Yeah, it's probably best to give it a bit of a drink just to see what. Um, what we're getting. No, that's quite interesting. A lot of the sediment's actually stuck, stayed in the bottle there. Oh. You can just see it on the bottom. Actually, that is quite interesting, yeah. If you, I'm not sure if this camera will show that. Unfortunately, I don't think it does, but yeah, they, they, trust us, there is a bit of sediment in the bottom of there. Um. Amber beer. Yeah. It's very, 
it's very this well there's there's no carbonation at all there's no there's no head retention and it's There's slight carbonation on your tongue though when you drink it. Very, very slight. Very, very yeah, slight. Very slight. I think I do get the fruity tones as they mention. I also get a bit of the spice. But I think we should probably wrap this up now, what do you think? Yeah. Um so what would you rate Quantock Ale? Three point eight percent ABV. Do you want to read the uh, the website out? Oh yeah, oh, it's, it's quite obvious one really. It's www.quantockbrewery.co.uk Fantastic brewery, very very nice indeed, great people. Um, I suppose yeah. we should really tribute this review to Cheryl who, um, she worked with us in a day down in Quantock, but she was unable to make the evening was she? So she, Yeah, unfortunately we didn't get to say a proper goodbye. So, so to Cheryl. Cheers Cheryl. Time for a rating. I'm not going to rate because I don't know anything about that, so you can do that, Simon. I'll just enjoy the beer. It's it's very drinkable. It's almost like a juice, but it's, it's definitely got alcohol in there. If I'm perfectly honest, the beer was absolutely fantastic on cask. Had a great head. Um, there was plenty of carbonation. There's hardly any carbonation at all. I'm not sure if this bottle has actually had a slight, if the cap hadn't been put on slight, um, not right. I, th I think there might have been. I just have to apologise, we had a bit of a battery failure there on my camera. I hadn't been topping up with the battery powers I should have been so we've swapped cameras just to say goodbye and everything um, anything else you've got to add yep um, if any of you guys watching are in Cardiff on Friday it's the Great Welsh Beer and Cider Festival Mrs. Real Ale going to be filming I'm not going on my own I panicked a bit because I was I, I would have been going on my own but my dear mother has stepped in and is going to babysit the kids so mm. We're going to be there Friday, um, filming, grabbing a couple of interviews with hopefully people from Fallon Foil Brewery, uh, Neath Ales. We're going to grab an interview probably with Arthur Daly, who organised the event. Um, I think, does that about wrap it up? Yeah, okay then. So, thanks for joining and see you all soon. Cheers. Cheers.